This is a 3D printed CNC and today we're trying it out. So assembly took me about 5 hours in total and that is quite a lot but the instructions were really intuitive and with good images so it wasn't hard and it goes together with some simple tools and they are all included in the package along with some candy. The working area of the machine is 290 by 360 millimeters. It has NEMA 17 motors, linear rods lead screws and limit switches on all axes. There is an 8mm MDF work surface with a bunch of screw holes to attach the workpiece. Now this one came with a Dremel 3000 but it can also be mounted with a Proxon. And the RPM is limited to the Dremel in this case which is 10,000 to 33,000 without any load. It also has this dust shoe and you can attach your own vacuum right here. It is controlled by GRBL and it has this LED monitor which can also be used with offline files. It can be upgraded with a laser unit and used as a laser as well. Now to try it out I'm going to make a couple of coasters and the first one is going to use all of the axes by carving it out. I drew up a simple design in Fusion 360 and I exported the file and imported it into Easel but it can also be used with CNC JS. Now as you can see I'm using a Mac and a lot of people are asking how to use a Mac with your CNC and it's all about installing the drivers really. The Dremel is connected right here on the side and then you can just turn it on. Now this first project turned out really good. I did some sanding and finished it with a wax and it did the job in about two hours but I reckon I can go a lot faster since it didn't seem to have trouble with the pace. Now for this next project I'm going to cut four puzzle pieces. Now I used an online service to create the puzzle and export it as an SVG and then I could import that into Fusion and use the manufacture function to have the CNC cut it out. I'll leave a link to the puzzle service I used down in the description. Now this is a bit more expensive than say the Prover XL from SaneSmart. And that machine offers a larger working area and the upgrade possibilities of using a DeWalt router. There's also Bob's CNC that I've seen that is about the same price point uh, but that has a work area of about 60 by 60 centimeters. This one can be upgraded right now with a laser and they will come out with some more upgradable parts down the road. Alright some final thoughts on this machine. Even though it took some time to put together and it is made out of 3D printed parts it actually seems really robust and stable. The 3D printed pieces are really good quality. A little downside is that the power supply is mounted beneath the work area. So you have to be careful when attaching your workpiece so that you don't have too long screws because that could potentially break the power supply. Looking at the price point compared to the work surface, I'd say it's a bit on the expensive side. And the only way to make it cheaper would be if the CNC Frog company would release the 3D printed files so that you can print them yourself and just get the rest of the hardware from them. It is a small company and they have done an incredible work with this machine because it's really robust and I had no issue when running it and it seems like it's holding together really nicely. I'm used to running the 3018 Pro and this is for sure a really good upgrade for me. And I can definitely see this company do some great work in the future, so it might be a good idea to keep an eye out for them. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please subscribe if you haven't and if you want to get one of these there's a link down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!